Kwan getting ready. She thought she had found the perspective she needed to succeed here, maybe win. Brent Musburger takes us up close and personal with the world champion. What do you do? The world says you're unbeatable and you skate as if you believe this is true. And to finally the pressure to be the best overwhelms your confidence and you fall from the great height you have scaled. Do you get angry? Do you give up? Well, if you're Michelle Kwan, you get perspective. I totally forgot um, how to have fun before nationals. It was a dreadful time for me because it was like I focused on the wrong thing. I was thinking of winning and just, okay, I've got to do this. You know, if this doesn't happen, things are going to go really bad. It seemed like I had something to lose, uh, more to lose than to gain. And when I was in nationals, I didn't have the guts. And of course, there's no glory. Only two weeks after relinquishing her national title, Michelle found further proof that she is not invincible. Competing at the Champion Series in Canada, she placed second once again. Looking back, it is clear that it was fear that stood in her way. Well, at nationals, I wasn't fearless. Um, there was no doubt about it. Um, I was afraid of something that I had, um, like a monster on the other side. And at that point, I was eaten by the monster. It didn't feel like I was ready. Even though I was physically ready and well-trained and all that, my mind, it was smoking. It, it was on fire. And I couldn't really put it out at that point. But Michelle now realizes that she is not doomed to repeat her past. If she can learn to confront her fears of failure head on. Fear is not something you can hide away from. Um, during my down slope, um, I was going through um, not wanting to hear about negative. Now it's much looser. I mean, I can talk about a lot of things, and um, I'm really open about how my skating is going and stuff. Having bad performances, it always occurs to me that it's like a broken record that replays and replays and replays. Um, I think that's good in a way, that I can fix it and make that broken record be a good one. Now a year after winning her first world title, Michelle has come full circle. Once again, she will have to prove that she is indeed worthy of the championship. But in Michelle's mind, she's already won the battle, the battle against herself. The one who wins all the time is great, is powerful, but the one who's been trampled on and fallen and injured and is able to get back up and stand up and fight. I mean, that's who I admire the most. United States of America. When she arrived here in Lausanne, she figured she had all the problems worked out. She seemed very confident, but then was devastated after her performance in the short program. She is in fourth place, though. And trying to move up, Tara Lipinski is now at the top. Her coach, Frank Carroll, has told Michelle to attack, don't defend. And that's exactly what she needs to do tonight. sets her apart is the really beautiful line and maturity that she has. Just watch this. It's lovely. Opening combination, the triple lutz double toe combination. Reaching back. Oh. Very solid. Triple, triple combination, but she fell on at the Nationals. Triple toe. Triple toe. Not this time. Triple flip. 
flip jump. Perfectly neat and clean. This is going to be a tough decision if she skates this beautifully all the way through. The problem with being in fourth, though, is that you don't control your own destiny. You need help from other skaters. And there's only one left, Arena Slutskaya. And she is in sixth place. Nice, crisp moves to it. Nice interpretation of this music. to see that she has pulled herself back up and skated without mistake. She skated with inspiration again tonight, I think. I think what a victory that is for her. A bit of redemption for Michelle Kahn, no matter what happens with the judges. I mean, the fact that she just was able to overcome all of those mistakes and all of that pressure is just and it really sensational for her. The last time the U.S. had two women on the world podium, 1992. Kristi Yamaguchi, Nancy Kerrigan, Frank Carroll, her coach, congratulating her. Tara Lipinski waiting around to see if she will retain the lead. Michelle Kwan out of breath, but very happy after her free skate. And look at this. Very, very neat and clean. Triple toe loop, triple toe loop. You can't ask for better than that. And this, her triple loop jump. Really beautiful, neat, clean. Well, with all that she went through in the last, well, month and a half, the loss at Nationals, and then feeling that she really had gotten it back together emotionally, all her confidence, she came here very confident in Lausanne, and then what happened in the short program, this is uh, a performance that's obviously very important to her. you got to be happy for her. Yes, I am extremely proud of her, and I think these are good lessons for her in preparation for Nagano. The Olympics next year in Japan. Technical merit marks. There they are, very, very high. Even higher for presentation, and you see the judges' placements. Michelle Kwan now in second place behind. There she is, Tara Lipinski. But in terms of those placements, remember, that's just for the free skate. So that could change depending on what happens with the last skater of the evening. 